Hello, welcome to English on Rocks. This story is about, it's a biography, yes, about Rosa Parks. Let's see if you know who she is. It says here, a very simple introduction to the life and accomplishments of famed civil rights activist Rosa Parks. And it says here, Rosa Parks was a very brave woman. All her life, she wanted people to be treated fairly. Here we have a photograph, and it has Rosa Parks worked towards fairness for all people. Viene de fair, de algo justo. Rosa was born in Alabama on February the 4th, 1913. She grew up in the town of Pine Level. She lived in Alabama for many years. This is the USA. Hmm? When Rosa was growing up, the laws for black people were different from the laws for white people. Many places were white only. Terrible. Black people could not go there. Here we've got white waiting room, trans in trans state passengers. Signs, estos carteles told white people and black people to use separate areas. On buses, black people had to sit in the back. But if whites wanted to sit on a full bus, o sea, imagínense que el, el colectivo, el micro iba lleno, entonces algún white person wanted to sit, hmm, to take a seat, blacks always had to give up their seats. Black people had to sit at the back of buses. One day in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa was riding on a full bus. O sea, ya tomó el micro y estaba llenísimo. A white person wanted her seat. Recuerden que seat, así es e a t este es el asiento. En cambio, sit down es más cortita la pronunciación, the pronunciation, y es S-I-T. Este es seat. The black woman would not, sorry, would have to give up her seat if a white person wanted it. The bus driver told Rosa to give up her seat. Rosa did not want to move or did not move directly. The police took her off the bus. La bajó del micro, la bajó del colectivo, and Rosa was arrested. Rosa was taken to the police station. Miren los usos de voz pasiva y passive voice. Rosa's friends were angry. Black people decided not to ride the buses in Montgomery until the law was changed. No black people rode the buses until the law was changed. A year later, the law changed. Black people could not be treated in such an unfair way. All black now had the same rights on the bus. Here it says, the law changed in 1956, sorry. So anyone, cualquier persona, could sit at the front of a bus. Rosa's actions inspired people. Soon people across the country were working for equal rights. Ahí tenemos un montón, civil rights plus full employment equals freedom. To remember that I have a tattoo here in my, my tattoo says freedom. People marched for equal rights in Washington, D.C. in 1963. There's a very important year about. Rosa kept working to make life better for all people. She died in 2005. I think the other book said 2003. I don't remember now. People remember how Rosa worked to make things fair. Hacer que todo fuera más justo. This is Rosa at age 75. She lived to be 92 years old. Que divina, my goodness. Here we have the glossary. Arrested, inspired, rights. Well, to find out more, you, have, you can read more books. There is also a website. Is there a, a quiz? I don't remember. Yes, that is a quiz. Let's go for it. Take the quiz. Where was Bro, uh, Rosa born in Alabama? When was Rosa born? January the 6th, March the 4th, February the 5th, February the 4th. 
when was it? Dun, 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 dun. I don't remember. No, the next one. Yes, February the 4th, 1913. Okay. I will remember now because my little niece, Delphi, was born on February the 4th. So I will remember her by. What town did Rosa grow up in? Alabama. Yes. Como que no? Pine level. Well, yes, that town again. Oh, this is all wrong. <laughs> Pine is um, inside Alabama, Alabama, I guess. Where did black people have to sit while riding a bus? The back of the bus. Yes. In the front, behind the driver. No. They could, si por suerte podían usar public transportation, but they could sit at the back. Una solita, bien. What happened if the bus was full and a white person got on the bus? They would tell the white person that there was no room on the bus. The white person sat on the back, on the black person's lap. ¿Cómo se le va a sentar encima? Um, the black person would have to give up their seat. Yes. The black person would get off the bus. Se tenía que bajar. No. Nada más levantarse y darle asiento al white. Okay. So, half. No, can okay, nice I try? It was terrible. Well, okay, there were four questions, but let's do it again. We want 100%. February the 4th, 1913. Yes, we got it, we got it. What town? Pine Level in Alabama. Yes. Where did black people have to sit? Ven que este sit es el verbo, ven? The back of the bus. And number four, what happened if, a, if the bus was full? The black person would have to give her, give up their seat. Fíjense una cosita, aunque diga the black person y es singular, como no estamos diciendo si es feminine or masculine, Acá en vez de his or her, que también podría haber sido his or her seat, se usa el there, que es neutral. ¿Ok? ¿Se entendió? Aunque tenga acá singular, vamos a usar este there, que es neutral. Es lo mismo que decir his or her. And that's the end. Perfect. 100%. Superb. <laughs> Thank you so much. We learn a lot. Bye-bye.